Good morning everybody, I hope that you are well today and I also hope that possibly you've been able to dodge the showers and enjoy some of the beautiful spring sunshine that we've been having. It's wonderful to see the birds beginning to build their nests and also to see the primroses are out as well as the beautiful daffodils too. For me, the biggest highlight of this week was joining the children from Denton School for their Easter assembly. All the children performed beautifully, but I was especially struck by the year five, six children who performed an Easter poem really, really powerfully. I don't think that any sermon I could produce could have perhaps communicated the Easter message as well as they did in that poem. And they performed it with such enthusiasm as well. There was something about it that really, really touched me and blessed me. So that for me was the greatest highlight of this week in a very, very busy week. And next week is going to be equally as busy. So next Monday, I'm going to be joining the one of the Barraby small groups in the evening. And then we have Barraby PCC the following evening. It's also the last week of the school term and so it is Easter assemblies galore. I've got two Easter assemblies in Harlexton, St Sebastian's at Great Gunnaby, Gunnaby Hillfoot's Easter assembly and then finally Barraby School's Easter assembly as well. So I'm looking forward to sharing with all the children these lovely Easter assemblies. Also, next Saturday at 10 o'clock at Barraby Church, there is a very special coffee morning organised by Carol Fisher to raise money for the charity Children vs Cancer. Carol's young grandson has been going through cancer treatment and she would really love to raise as much money as possible to support the charity that has done so much to support him. So please do come along and let's see if we can really bless this charity. Also this week on Wednesday I have a meeting about our new website. Now you may have heard some rumours about this but basically the website that Harlexton and St Sebastian Church uses is going to be defunct very soon and so that has prompted us into looking at how we can create a website for the new group for the West Grantham Group of Villages website. So we have been looking and John Bruce especially has taken the lead in this. He has found a new format for us and he has been very busy putting together the structure of this format, of this new website. So if you like, he has built the walls, dug the foundations, put in the plumbing and the electrics and now we've got to the stage where it's the opportunity for all of us to decide what we want the website to look like. So in many ways, if the website was a house, we've got now the most pleasurable bit of deciding the colour of the walls, what's going to go in each room. We're going to hopefully be having a think about that. Initially as a small group, I'm hoping to meet with representatives of St Sebastian's and um, All Saints and John himself this week, where we're going to start the process of thinking about what the website is going to to look like the colours and what content's going to go into it. It will be a great resource. We're hoping that it's going to have a diary that will tell you everything you need to know about events and services at your church and the wider group. It's also going to have pictures of the ministry teams, the pastoral teams. It's going to have information for those people who are looking for um, what they need to know for weddings and baptisms, contact details. It's going to have hopefully the history and each church will have a section on the website so that people can come and find out hopefully all that they need to know. So as I said, there's a group of us meeting this week to begin the initial process of what it's going to all look like and what content will be on it. And then we hope to open that up to you too so that you can give your viewpoint as well. And then we can hopefully have a website that we all feel is usable and is bright and attractive and really says something about who we are as a group of villagers. So the other important thing I need to say is people keep reminding me that Easter is fast approaching and my goodness me, I can't believe that next weekend is Palm Sunday. 
there are lots of different services going on throughout the group in the next um, week if you see in holy week we have got compline evening prayer on monday night tuesday night and wednesday wednesday night we've also got a midweek communion at denton at 10 o'clock we have services for Monday thursday at all saints which all the people from St Sebastian's are also invited to come along to and there will also be a Monday Thursday service here at Harlexton too. Then on Good Friday there are services at Harlexton Church, or Saints Barraby and also St Sebastian's. And then there are also services at those churches on Easter Sunday, along with a open house service at Denton and then a four o'clock BCP Holy Communion in Strawson. Don't worry if you can't remember all that information because there will be other forms of communicating it to you. Pieces of paper, posters and also emails as well. We will do our utmost to ensure that everybody knows what's happening this Easter and a lot is happening. We really want you to enter into the, the celebration of Easter week, whether that is first of all thinking about the death of our Lord Jesus and then celebrating finally his resurrection on Easter Sunday. So as well as wishing you a really wonderful week, I would like to conclude with this week's thought about prayer. And today's quote comes from Thomas Kildare. Thomas says, Rather than set aside daily time for prayer, I pray constantly and spontaneously about everything I encounter on a daily basis. When someone shares something with me, I often simply say, let's pray about this right away. Have a great week and keep praying. God bless. Bye.